What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at joins in Tableau. Now before we get into the tutorial, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor and that is Udemy. They are having a massive Black Friday sale so everything is about 85% off. So if you've been looking at a course, now is the time to buy it. If you are looking at learning and taking an actual full Tableau course, there are fantastic ones on Udemy that I have taken myself. So be sure to go and check out Udemy while they're having this huge sale. I will include a link in the description if you want to check them out. Now let's get into the tutorial. All right, let's get started. And first we're going to start off in Excel. I'm going to kind of walk you through the data that we're working with, and then we're going to put it into Tableau and I'm going to show you how to do all those joins in Tableau. So the first table that we have is this demographics table. We have employee ID, name of employee, employee age, and employee gender. Now look right here because this will be important uh, going forward in the demographics table. We have 10 uh, individuals and they each have an employee ID. Now when we go to the job title, we have our employee ID, employee name, and the job title, but this one is missing. Uh, Ryan Howard is missing his employee ID. And then the very last one, there are only seven employee IDs and no names. Um, and so we're going to use all of that and I'm going to show you how to actually do the joins in Tableau. Tableau does a really fantastic job of visualizing it for you. So it takes a lot of the guesswork out. Um, I am going to include a link to my joins video in SQL because these two are very closely connected. And, and if you understand how the joins work in, in SQL, you'll understand how the joins work in Tableau. It's almost the exact same thing. So with that being said, let's jump over to Tableau. So I'm going to pull this up and go right over here. And now we have uh, where we can connect to our data. And so we're going to click Microsoft Excel. I'm going to scroll down here to Tableau joins file. I'm going to open this up and I have it open so I can't use it. So let me get rid of that and let's open it again. Perfect. So now what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you how to actually open up the joins um, in a second. But what you need to understand is when you first come here, Tableau doesn't automatically allow you to, to use the joins. They use something called relationships and there are joins on the back end but they call it relationships because they are inferring all of these things. They're trying to go in and make that inference for you. So it takes a lot of the work off of you. And most of the time that works. And, and you know, you just plug these two things in here, like a demographics and the job title. And it is going to, you know, help you build those what they call relationships. And you can click on this and learn how the relationships differ from joins. Again, there's not a huge difference, but it's not as customizable and you can't as easily do left joins or full joins or all these things that we're about to look at. So uh, I'm going to take this one off. And what we're going to do to actually be able to look at the joins and, and choose what joins we want to use is we're going to do this drop down. We're going to click open. And so now we are in a place where we can actually create the joins. Uh, and again, it's just much more customizable. And so um, Back when I was using Tableau regularly, I would use the relationships when it was pretty simple and straightforward because almost they almost always got it right. But, uh, you know, the joins, it, it just makes more sense in the way it visualizes it for me. So most of the time I'd be using the joins. So let's pull over this job title right here and it's going to make this connection. Now, before, if you remember just about, you know, 30 seconds ago when it connected them, it was just a line. And, and so it gave us this option down here to kind of edit the relationship, but now it's giving us this visualization. And so let's click on it really quick. And what is going to come up is the different types of joins that you can do. You can do an inner join, a left join, a right join, and a full outer join. And then you can actually choose the different uh, data sources and how you're connecting them. So again, um, I'm going to walk through a little bit of this, but I think the SQL video that I did on this shows it so well. Um, I would just highly recommend using that. Um, and I recommend learning SQL too. So, you know, two birds, one stone. So I'm going to get into each of the joins, how they work, what data is going to be displayed. Um, and these visualizations are really going to be helpful. And I think that it's, it's just nice that they have it because it's a little reminder. Okay. Um, you know, this is what this join is, or this is what that join is. So super, super simple. So right now we have the demographics table and we have the job title table. 
And so what it's doing right now, and let's get rid of this. What it's doing right now is it's doing an inner join. And so it's pulling everything that overlaps if it matches on the employee ID and the employee ID. And so right now you only see one through nine, but if you remember in the demographics table, we had uh, 1000 all the way through 10. So where's that 10th one? Well, the 10th one is not there. And that is because in this job title employee ID, it only went up to 1009. And then Ryan Howard just didn't have an employee ID in there for whatever reason. So that data is going to be missing. Now, when you are using actual data sets, very large data sets, which we will use in the next video when we walk through an entire project, um, when you use large data sets, this can be th the difference between clean data and very wrong data and, and visualizing it correctly and showing completely wrong numbers. And so you really need to be sure you understand how your data works together when you're doing these joins. So how can we fix this? How can we um, make it to where we can see all of the data? Well, right now we're only making it to where if the employee ID is equal to the employee ID. So we only are gonna see through 1009 and through 1009. We're never gonna see Ryan. So there are two different types of joins that we could do to make it see it. And then there's something else that we can join on to where we can see that data. The first one that we can look at is the right uh, join. And what this does is it's going to take everything that is the same, but also everything from this job title table, regardless of if it has a match in the demographics table. So it's pretty, you know, this visualization does it all. It's gonna show everything in the right table regardless, and it's only gonna show things from this table if there's a match. So let's try this one, and we should see Ryan Howard in the job title table. So let's click on it, and if we scroll down, there's gonna be null, 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 until we get to over here, where we now have the data that we had in that actual table. But again, this wasn't a match, and so we weren't able to see that data. So this gives us a way to where we can see all of it, um, all everything from that right table, this job title table. And now we're gonna click on the full outer. Now, the full outer is gonna take everything from both, regardless of if there is a match at all. And so right here, you're gonna see Ryan Howard and Ryan Howard. Now, why are there two different rows for it? Well, because in the demographics table, there was an employee ID. So we're seeing the employee ID, Ryan Howard, his age and his gender. And over here, there was no match, right? But in the job title table, again, this one didn't have an employee ID. And so we, we are gonna be able to see this data, but over here, it has no match. And so that's why it's showing us two different rows. It's because there was no connection, there was no match there. That's what a full outer join is going to do. Now, just for uh, the purposes of seeing what this one does as well, we have the left-hand table. Um, and now we are able to see the 110 or, or 1010 that we didn't see before. Um, and it's putting in nulls over here because there's no match. So that's, that is um, what we have so far. Now, like I said just a second ago, there is a way that we can do this without using the employee IDs, we're allowed to use a different join clause. Now there is the name of the employee in both of them. This one is called name of employee and in the job title, it's called employee name. They don't have to have the same column name in order to join it, you can do whatever you want. So I'm going to get rid of this one and now we are only tying it on the employee name. And let's do an inner join. And it should be basically everything um, except the only piece of data that wasn't filled in, which is that 1010 over on the job title table. And so this way was a slightly different, maybe uh, less thought of way, because normally you do it if there's an ID, you go on the IDs, but because we uh, had a lack of data for in, in one of the tables in the job title table, we decided to use a different column to, to join on, and now we're able to look at all the data together. So super quickly, that is an inner join, a left join, a right join, and a full outer join. And it's pretty easily visualized here. And you're able to uh, change what you're joining on right here, but you're also, you can do multiple. So if we wanna do the employee ID and the employee ID, you can do that as well. And you can keep going as, as many as you'd like. Um, and 
right here or you can change some of these things uh, I don't there aren't a lot of use cases for this um, but you know you can absolutely do this um, and mess around with this as seen I'm not going to go through it in the tutorial because again 95 plus percent of the joins you're doing you're going to want to do it to where this equals this um, and if you want to get into where it doesn't equal or, or all these other things which is more complicated I think it's much better to learn that in SQL uh, that's my personal preference and so um, again all in the SQL tutorial if you want to check that one out so you're able to join on multiple things now let's get rid of that one because we can actually bring in this salary one as well and what you'll see right down here is that we have our employee ID and this is all coming from the demographics so employee ID name of employer employee age employee gender then right over here we have the job title table so employee ID job title, employee name job title, and then right over here was or is our salary table. And so we have employee ID salary and employee salary. So again, this is a way that you can put all of this data into one place. And in just a second, we'll go into the worksheet right down here. I'm going to show you kind of how it looks because it looks a little bit different um, than previous tutorials. And so I want to show you how that actually all works together. Um, but again, you can create these joins um, as well and do the exact same thing that we just looked at and customize the joins, customize what you're, what you're um, uh, joining on, and then you have your finished product. And so right now we have our demographics plus Tableau joins file, and we can rename that if we want. I'm going to call this um, demographics plus joins demo and click enter. And so now that is saved. So now let's go down to the go to worksheet. We're going to click on that. And so up here on our left side, this may look a little bit different than it normally does um, because it's broken out um, on the measure names and the measure values. It's broken out by the tables that they were joined on. So we can pull in the employee gender now and we can pull in the employee name now um, and we can pull in the employee ID again if we want to from the job title table and we can pull in the employee ID from the salary table. We could do that if we wanted to. It makes no sense uh, uh, for actually creating any visualizations, but you know, you can do that. And so you probably, you wouldn't be able to do that if you hadn't joined these together. And so down here in the measure values, the values that we have are from the demographics table and the salary table. All of the, um, all of the stuff from the employee title, none of those things were um, values. And so we can't use, there are going to be no values down here. And so really quick, let's take the name of the employee. Let's take their salary. Sure, why not? Um, let's order that. Let's take the employee salary. We'll do color. And uh, let's expand this out a little bit. Maybe one more time. Oops. Just like that. And there you go. So that is how you do joins in Tableau. And I think Tableau does a really fantastic job of making it pretty simple. They have the different types of joins when you click on that, that join button and it shows you the inner and the left and the right and the full outer. And they make it pretty simple. Um, and, and, and it's just really useful to be able to see that while you're creating it and see the output below like we just did a second ago. It, it just makes it so simple to create those joins and then just keep going because you already know what your output is going to be and you can kind of mess around with it and make sure you're getting the data that you need. In the very next video, we're going to be doing an entire project in Tableau. We're going to be using a lot more data and it's going to be a, a complete project that you can add to your portfolio and it's going to be a really good time. So I hope that you join me for that one. I appreciate your time. I hope that this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.